Hello everyone, I'm going to the range today and I decided to bring you guys along because I'm going by myself and I asked my Instagram followers, specifically the women, whether or not they've gone to the range by themselves and I'll post the response right here so you guys can see how many said yes and how many said no, but there were many more no's. So I decided since I'm going to the range today by myself, I'm gonna take you guys along and talk to you about going to the range by yourself as a woman because it can be intimidating, it can be kind of scary, especially if you've never done it before. Let's start with what I'm gonna bring to the range. So if I back up a little bit, you guys can see me in the mirror. This is what I'm gonna be wearing um, to the range, which affects how I'm going to carry my gun because I believe that if you're gonna train with your gun, you should train out of the holster that you're gonna carry in. And one of the holsters that I'm gonna be using a lot, because it's gonna be fall soon, are these leggings with the holster built in to the waistband. So I'm wearing my Tactica Defense fashion concealed carry leggings. So that's what I'm wearing to the range. My gun's gonna go here. I have to grab my range bag and some other stuff. So let me bring you into my little closet here. I've got all my holsters organized. It's kind of dark, sorry. Soft holsters, um, Kydex holsters, and then all my range gear. So I have to figure out what I need for today. Here's my range bag down here. And if you're interested in what I bring to the range, I did a video called What's in My Range Bag. So here's my bag. I'm gonna make sure I have everything I need and I'll write down right here what I'm gonna bring to the range so you guys will have a list of what I bring so you can figure out what you want to bring and see if maybe you're missing something. My gun's right here. It's loaded because I'm gonna carry it loaded to the range and then I'm gonna bring some extra magazines. The main reason I'm going to the range today is to test out these Mag Guts magazine kits that I installed in here. I talked about them in my most recent video um, of concealed carry favorites. So I've never shot these magazines before, so we're gonna try them out today and hopefully they'll work right in my gun. So basically what this does is it adds an extra round to your magazine. So this seven round magazine is actually an eight now. So we're gonna test those out today and just make sure that they work before I start carrying them in my gun. So I'm gonna get in the car. I'm gonna grab some targets and some ammo and I'll see you in the car. All right guys, I'm here at the range now and it seems like it's pretty busy in there so we'll see if we can get a lane without having to wait too long. But when I asked you guys if you'd gone to the range alone to all my women followers, 68% of you said that you haven't and 32% said you have. So I've got some of the reasons why here. People are walking by, it's okay. Um, so one of the main reasons that you said you didn't want to come to the range alone or you haven't yet is because of intimidation and feeling like you don't really know what you're doing yet or you don't want people to look at you and think that you don't know what you're doing. It's kind of like the first time you go to the gym by yourself. I don't know if anybody can relate to this, but like the first few times I went to the gym, especially if you go to like the weight room, it can seem a little intimidating and you don't want people to think that you don't know what you're doing or people to like come over and try to correct you or whatever. Of course, if you're doing something that's unsafe, that's fine, but some people just give unsolicited advice and that can get really annoying. Another reason that you guys said you haven't come to the range alone is because you don't want to get hit on by creepy dudes and I totally get that, that's a legitimate reason. Self-conscious, not being confident, confidence and experience, so I'm gonna take you guys inside with me to the range. I'm at Mass Firearm School in Holliston right now. And I'm just gonna film myself shooting a little bit, show you kind of what I do. And one of my first tips is to have a purpose when you're gonna come to the range. So my purpose today is to practice with my carry gun and to test out those new Mag Guts extension kits that are in my new magazine so that I can start carrying them knowing that they're gonna work properly. So whether it's like practicing trigger control or practicing how you hold the gun and shoot or practicing drawing and shooting. 
try to have some sort of goal or reason or thing you want to work on before you get here so that you can go in there knowing what you want to do. So why is it important to go to the range alone? Well, I don't think you have to go to the range alone, but I think it's important to have the confidence to be able to go to the range alone if you want to. Sometimes you need to practice and there might not be someone available to come with you. I, that happened to me a lot in the beginning. I came to the range alone a lot. Now I usually have Mac with me because we're together all the time and we both like to shoot so we go together. But in the beginning I didn't really have anyone to come shooting with all the time so I would come by myself. And yeah, it was a little scary at first but you get used to it. This is one of the most important things. Hold on, the sun's in my face. This is one of the most important things that I always have in my mind when I'm shooting. Just remember that you are in control of the gun and the gun is not in control of you. So it can seem scary to be holding this like really powerful thing in your hands, but just remember that you're in control. If you want the gun to fire, you're the one that's going to put your finger on the trigger and shoot the gun. The gun's not in control of you, so just remember that and it'll give you a little bit of confidence when you're shooting. So I'm gonna grab all my stuff now. Hopefully I can carry it all and still talk to you guys. And we're gonna go into the range. I might buy some ammo today just because there's been a shortage and if they have any here, I wanna add some more to my existing stock. So we'll see how much they have and hopefully we'll be able to get a lane. So let's go inside. Okay, so this is what the inside of MFS looks like. If you guys are in the area, definitely come check it out. It's an awesome range and you can borrow guns. So if you're looking to buy a gun, I definitely recommend trying it out so you can figure out what you shoot best and what feels best in your hand. So they've got a whole wall of guns here that you guys can try out. It's pretty awesome. So I got my range card. It tells me which lane I'm gonna be shooting in and I'm going to range two, which is this way. It's nice that there aren't too many people here today. It's usually pretty busy at this range. But here's range two. I've got my little card. I'm gonna put my eye and ear protection on before I go inside, just like it says on the door. Okay, I'm wearing a mask if I sound all muffled and now my glasses are getting fogged up. But let's go in and see how it is.
All right, guys, when you're done shooting, make sure to wash your hands with cold water to get rid of any lead that's on your hands and not let it seep into your pores. Okay guys, I'm all done shooting. I'm just sitting in a classroom because it's empty so I can talk to you guys. Hopefully you can hear me. The fans in here that let out all the lead dust from the air are a little loud, but that's normal in a range. So I just want you guys to be confident when you go to the range. Don't be scared to go by yourselves. If you mess up, as long as you're safe, that's okay. Know how to clear malfunctions in case one happens to you at the range. They're totally normal and they happen all the time. Just learn about the different kinds and how to clear them. Maybe I'll do a video on clearing malfunctions in the future if that's something that you guys are interested in. And don't worry about what anybody else thinks. People might be looking at you at the range because you're a girl and they're not used to seeing that, but that's okay. Don't worry about what anybody else is doing. Just worry about yourself. It's important for you to train, especially if you're going to be carrying a gun, and that's the most important thing. So go to the range, be confident, know how to use your firearm, and just be safe. Focus on the safety. Go slow and then the speed will come later as you get more used to what you're doing. So if you are gonna go to the range for the first time all by yourself because I've given you the confidence and you feel like you can do it now, leave me a comment and let me know because I love hearing from you guys and hearing that you've gained some confidence from my content. So that's really what I'm trying to do. I just want you guys to be brave and go out there and learn how to defend yourselves. So please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm so glad that you guys watched this video. Thank you so much. Make sure you hit that like button, the thumbs up, if you like this video because it really helps out my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe. Bye.